EA Sports. It's in the game. How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time to take a quick look at all the goal celebrations for NHL 12. So let's not waste any time and get straight out there. First up is the A or X button. And if you hit this button while moving, you'll slide on your stomach, okay? But it also has two other celebrations. If you hit the A or X button against the boards, you'll jump into the glass. And if you hit the A or X button while not moving, that's the key. You can't be moving. You'll hop in one position, just like that, okay? Now for the B button, there's only one celebration no matter where you are. After you score a goal, hit the B button no matter where you are on the ice, and you'll pump your knee just like that. And same thing for wire triangle, one animation, hit it and you'll shine your stick up. Now the rest of the deeks can all be modified with the right stick. We'll start with X and square. If you push this button, you'll go down on both knees, but you can modify this. Push up on the right stick to pump your fist. Push right on the right stick to punch your fist directly forward. Push down on the right stick to punch your fist out to the side. And push left on the right stick to do a windmill. And you can combine all of these right stick combinations for your own custom celebration. The right trigger and R2 button also can be modified. But if you push these buttons by themselves, you'll go down to one knee. Now here's how you modify them. Push up on the right stick and you'll pump your fist. Push right on the right stick and you'll punch your fist directly forward. Push down on the right stick to scoop the ice. And lastly, push left on the right stick to do a windmill. And just like before, you can customize your own celebration. You can also use the left trigger or L2 button to pull off a nice celebration. This celebration you'll go and ride on your stick, just like that. But you can also modify this one. Push up on the right stick to pump your fist. Push right on the right stick to punch your fist directly forward. Push down on the right stick to punch your fist out to the side. And lastly, push left on the right stick to do a windmill. And just like before, you can customize this celebration as well. You can even just use the right stick by itself to celebrate a goal. Push right on the right stick to punch your fist directly forward. Push down on the right stick to pump your fist on front of your chest. Push left on the right stick to do the windmill. And my favorite celebration of the game, up on the right stick to point at whoever you want. You can say nice assist buddy, or you can make fun of anyone on the other team. L1 or the left bumper also controls your non-stick hand, you can raise it up in the air. Same thing for the right bumper or R1, it controls your stick hand. You can also push both these buttons to raise both hands. And remember, as soon as you score a goal, get right into that celebration, because if you don't, the computer will automatically take over and he'll celebrate the goal for you. There's a handful of different computer animations that will come out depending on what the score is, where you scored the goal from, who you are, okay? So if you want the computer to celebrate your goal, let go of everything after you score a goal. But if you want to celebrate your own goals after you put the puck in, keep moving that left stick and then whatever you want to do, pull it off. But keep moving that left stick. That's the key. Alright boys, so I hope this tutorial cleared up any questions you had on goal celebrations. So go into a shootout. Get some goals, practice the celebrations, and customize your own. For Johnny Superb Man and the Great Domsky, take it easy boys, and we'll see you later.